Now wide to Saddington. In two minds what to do with it. In the end, he decides to kick and kick long. Getting back in the hole bravely is laid. Well done. Did not budge. Didn't drop the head. Took the solid mark. Off to Chad Corns. To his brother. Now out to Burgoyne. Oh, forward. Ebert. Oh, look at this. Westhoff all by himself. And he should go back and have a shot at goal. He's only about uh, 35 metres out. The angle's tough, but not impossible. And Westhoff so far has kicked two straight this afternoon. Well, he was standing there a while. Thornton was just unsure who to go to. He had about three to cover, so you've got to make a pretty important choice there when you've got about three to cover at one time. Doesn't say too much. His nickname is Humphrey. <laughs> and he comes for his third, and it's home. Mark Williams looks on. He'll be pleased with how his side performed this afternoon after the loss to the Crows last week. Ineffective ruck play. Well done by Greg. Gains 10 metres to Betts. Off to Simpson. He feeds it back to Carazzo, who's been unusually quiet today. Off to Greg, who wobbles it inside, attacking 50. Difficult one to mark. Favola almost did. Snap around the body is clever. Goal to Carlton. got me dumbfounded that statement Thurston's <laughs> still deep inside defensive 50 out wide and the marks taken by Wilson one of the veterans in this side to Kane Corns for disposal 24 over the big laid a couple of bounces and then drills the pass to the 50 Westhoff couldn't control it Simpson with his head over the ball and that's a free kick and he'll go to Blackwell for a high tackle advantage paid Saddington Ackland's got to mark this, and he does. He was off. Oh, Wilson's down. Well, let's hope it's not a knee. Simpson, a long way out of wing. He's had three bounces. And now he weighs up the options and finds Fisher. So Wilson's up. He's OK. That's good news. So he's got to cop one in the scone, maybe. That's a trademark run for Simpson now. And there's the knock that yeah. Wilson's received. Was that almost to the throat? Too sure. So Brad Fisher has kicked the goal. Five. Tried hard, Kane Eklund today. And off to Simpson again, who controlling things on the wing for the moment. Chips it towards half forward. Mark taken by Blackwell. Blackwell now, oh, oh gee, stubbed it. That was a shocking kick. And oh, Kane well Cox is brilliantly tackled by Favola and Brendan Favola earns the free kick. That was a great chase down. And Favola will kick from 50. As we watch it again, there's the kick, which was ordinary. And Corns just almost jogging. And they've been able to do that for most oh. of the day, so perhaps that's why he thought he could do it again. But a great chase from Brendan Favola. Over the last three weeks, this has been Brendan Favola's strength. He's been getting after the opposition and it's been getting him goals. Well, I wonder whether it'll get him one here. From 50, G, a head over the ball. It was a beautiful action. He's nailed it. Kicked his second. Tell you what, another goal here for Carlton. The margin back to 20 points could make things very interesting. In the last couple of weeks, they have been fighting out their games really, really hard. They keep coming. Greek to Scotland. Favola! Oh, oh 50. Gee. Got to be 50. Hey, 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 Zillow, you've got the footing, and we're going 50. Hey, hey, that's it. Carlton, Carlton. Brendan, when you get the, when you get the footing, mate, walk away. And, yeah, well, if you get out of the road, walk away. Brendan, when you get the footing, mate. So here's the mark. And bang goes White. What do you think? He was pretty committed, wasn't he? And there was no high, head high contact. Was no, but I think the thing that went against him, Cordes, he had no eyes on the ball. Well, I'm not he just, it's a 50. Yeah, I'm but not it, thinking it's not a reportable incident. Well, they yeah, definitely but, got to look at yeah, it. You definitely had, have to had, look at it. It's a charge. No eyes for the football at all. So for Volna for his third this quarter. And the Blues are fighting back. They are working their way seriously back into this game. 
Running down is Jackson. Centering kick. No mark to Carlisle. Eddie Betts is ready to pounce. Handballs it out. Here's another chance now. Scotland. He's a good finisher. Side steps. Doubles back. Now to Jackson. Into the pocket. Fisher from the pocket. Steadies. Box. Kicks. A goal. Boys are back in town. Got it to Grigg. And Carlton now can go forward. To Carazzo who by his lofty standards has been uh, quiet today. Puts it inside 50, Saddington! We saw him pinch hit a couple of times last week, Jason Saddington. Well, he drifted down there with the flow of the ball. Weight was also behind him. So they had a few Carlton players as options. This to cut the margin to just nine points. From right on 50, Saddington kicks through the ball. It's a nine-point ball game. <laughs> they roll the dice. There's no doubt about it. Yours, yours. Mark taken by Murphy. He's off. Kicks to open territory. It's a clever kick too. Here's an opportunity for Jackson. Can he get there? No, well played, Kane Corns. But the handball missed the target. Jackson has another crack at it. Now Murphy kicks to Favola. Well, full credit to umpire Chamberlain. Again, he was in the perfect position to see that. Yeah, good call. Um, Chop, he said. Yeah, Let's yeah. look at it. Yeah. To the letter of the law, the correct free kick. So, Brendan Favola, who missed a put about five minutes ago, but he has kicked three goals this quarter. 3-2 for the afternoon. If he puts this through, it is two points the difference. This inspires your team. Right so here. Brendan Favola. Can he produce the goods? Yes, he can. It's two points the difference. What a quarter from Brennan Favola. He's kicked four for the quarter. And then the Blues have kicked seven. Who would have thought <laughs> at the start of the third quarter? that this would be the margin, the close throw, to three-quarter time. Throw an Embley too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boat, good handball, Cassisi. Good pressure, though, for, again from the Blues, forcing an error, a turnover. Walker, slick Here towards Simpson. Simpson's a long kick, draws the player over the top. Chance for Russell. Wasn't a great handball, but Russell can steady. Handball back to Carazzo, off a step. Left foot from 40. It's going gold. He's oh! kicked it, and the Blues in front. has resulted in Carlton leading by three points at the last change. Well done by Cassisi. Jamson on the boot, wide. Leading in the race, Pierce. Feeds it back to Peter Burgoyne. Pettigrew, played pretty well. Sweeps the handball. Cassisi inside attacking 50 from 30 metres. He puts Pot Adelaide back in front. It was a good decision by the umpire too. He'd only just picked up the ball, so you've got to give them both a chance. Port Adelaide by three points. Oh, oh no. no. Thornton's done it again. Well, the man's got to know his limitations. And Thornton has not for the first time today turned the ball over. And Westhoff from uh, directly in front, only 25 metres out. Well, that's a disaster for Carlton. Can Westhoff make them pay? He's got one at each quarter. And now he's got his fourth. Here's Favola. Scotland wanting him to run and to move. Decides just to kick it high and long. Deep inside attacking 50. In from the side. Oh, Fisher's taken a beauty. Oh, he's good at that. Oh, Adlam was coming in from the side. And so Fisher not had to only beat the Port Adelaide defence. He had to beat his own teammate. He's taken 12 marks. This will give a better view of it. Great stuff. Propped in front. Good work from Vivola. Just shielding the Port Adelaide defence. So Fisher from 40 metres. Drop part looks pretty good. He's kicked it. Go to Carlton. Oh, helping against Lade. 
Laid up, beautifully done, superbly done to Burgoyne. Now Boak, he's a speedster. Roden, back to Boak. Exciting play. Pierce sweeps it out wide to Chad Corns. Over the top to Roden. Great link running play from Port Adelaide. And they keep on going. Roden dishes off to Motlop. Motlop into the pocket to Ebert. That is fantastic football by Port Adelaide. He plays on Ebert. He kicks to the hot spot. It's a brilliant kick. That is magnificently done by Port Adelaide. Team football. And Wilson has drifted down as good as directly in front. 30 metres from goal. Well, Wilson wandered down the outer side of that field. He just needed Ebert to be able to play on and look inside, and he found the open player. The rising star back in 1997. He's only kicked three goals this season. He's 13 matches. It's a goal. Well done by Thompson. Got it off to Gassisi. Wasn't a great kick. Herbert Pierce did brilliantly to get hands on it first. Now Wilson, and now Pierce can run. Daniel Pierce, not a great kick, and the pressure here, cut and replying is having an impact. Oh, Jemison no, superbly great, tackled sir. by Gibbs. Oh. Wait, Walker off to Blackwell. Couldn't get it clear. Good tackle from both. Pierce, Sean Burgoyne now. 60 from goal. Sean, Bur Sean Burgoyne kicks in towards Ebert, and he marks right on the line. Deep in the pocket. He plays on, kicks it back and across to Brendan Layden. and Brett Ebert has done brilliantly in the last few minutes, kicking initially to Wilson for a goal and now kicking back to Laid and a chance from 45. It's a beautiful kick for goal, Michael. 12 goals, two this year to Brendan Laid. That was a kick coming in from Sean Burgon, which was a beauty. And there's the kick from Ebert. So Carlton involved last week in a ding-dong final quarter battle against Collingwood. Collingwood kicked the last four goals to win by that margin. Port Adelaide just applying the pressure here, tightening the vice. Brendan Lay from 50. Beautiful kick. Beautiful kick. Go to Port Adelaide. A boundary throw in. Just inside attacking 50 for Carlton. They need a goal. Still plenty of time for them. DeLuca in the rut against O'Halpin. Well done, O'Halpin takes it out and for the second week in a row kicks a goal out of the ruck. <laughs> Carlton can't afford Port Adelaide to score from this boundary throw in. Laid has been very good all day. Ackland gets this one. Laid picks it up, tries to get it clear but he's well tackled, spills towards Cassisi. Still over the ball, Cassisi. Now Peter Bergwijn off to his brother, Sean. He gets some space. Left foot snap is coming.